in, in the show, humanity realizes that a meteor comet is going to hit in 21 days, I think. And you follow this disparate group, totally unrelated to one another, through their lives and how they all end up in the bomb shelter as the comet hits. Um, and you have a Vatican priest, that's me, you have the President of the United States, you have a sort of a mid-level functionary at a bank, you have a convict on death row, and all of these people somehow come together completely unexpectedly during the apocalypse. And the writers did an amazing job of weaving together these storylines with twists and turns that you never see coming. It's gonna make Lost look like, uh, you know, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. My character of Father Jude was, it was one of those scripts where, truthfully, when I read the first scene, I knew I was gonna do it. Because uh, it's, he's such a character. Um, Vatican priest, foul mouth, boozing, smoking, comes to the life after living a life of sin. And, you know, a really devout man of real faith, but in, in a way that's totally and uniquely his. Um, Vatican bad boy, that's a cool thing to play. Father Jude is the devil's advocate at the Vatican. It's a real thing. And in normal times, the devil's advocate disproves miracles for potential um, saints. That's what the job is. With the apocalypse coming, his job changes and it's much more important. He has to find the new Messiah. And he needs an assistant uh, because it's a big job and an important job. And so he finds this young, just very, very naive uh, um, nun, uh, Celine. The scope of this show is, is pretty extraordinary. Um, you know, most shows on television are shot in Burbank. <laughs> we, we've been in South Africa, we've been in Malta, we've been in uh, the UK, we've been all over the place. It's huge, just huge. It's also beautiful. Um, you have sort of an American all-star team of actors, and then you have a sort of British all-star team. It's sort of like the Ryder Cup, in a way. Um, and again, exploring something as interesting as what would you really do if you only had 21 days on Earth? Would you go to work? Why would you go to work? What would you do with your money? What would happen to the banks? What, all of those little things that nobody thinks about are so finely realized in this in a really f funny way. I never thought that human inhalation could be witty. Turns out it can be. This is unlike anything you've seen, which is why I wanted to do it. First of all, I love end of the world shows to begin with, but this one is the weirdest funniest, darkest mix that you've really ever seen.